Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. All right, so we're going to start a series of class builds now. And the first one that I have is the Artificer Artillerist Warlock, also known as the Howitzer Lock. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or a comment. All right, so to get into this, we are going to go through this one level at a time. And this is a combination of a few levels of Warlock, mostly Artificer Artillerist specialty. Art in the Artillerist is the specialty. So let's just get into it. At first level, all right, here we are at first level. We are going to choose Tiefling as the race. And again, these are all Adventure League legal characters as well. So we're going to choose Tiefling, and we're going to use the Tiefling with the Origin Manager for ability scores, and we're going to give this Tiefling a plus two to Intelligence and a plus one to Charisma. Now, we do this for a reason because I want a few things out of the Tiefling. Uh, particularly, they get a Hellish Rebuke um, at a specific level, but we're going we're gonna to go with the Tiefling because we do want... Uh, intelligence and charisma since the artificer uses intelligence and then the warlock uses uh, charisma the background we're going to take is faction agent and we're going to uh, take insight and persuasion for that as our skills we're going to start out with a strength of 10 a dexterity of 12 a constitution of 11 an intelligence of 17 a wisdom of 10 and a charisma of 15 and that's with the 27 point by system and then we're going to start out with a quarterstaff, scale mail, shield, and a dungeoneer's pack. We're going to end up with an AC of 17. So the artificer can use a shield and can cast spells and everything while, wearing a, while, while holding a shield and can use um, up to medium armor. Some are, There are artificers that can use heavy armor, like the armor artificer, but we're not going to go for that one. So And pretty much we're going to stick with scale mail the whole time. The cantrips we're going to take are Acid Splash and Firebolt. And then we're going to take Absorb Elements, Catapult, and Detect Magic. And pretty much we're not going to talk about the spells that we can cast later on. Um, although there are some good uh, utility spells that we can take. Uh, this is a damage dealing character and it's a damage dealing character from distance. So you want to stay away. But... The Artificer does get things like Cure Wounds and Revivify and things like that. So you can s serve in a support role. And then, the, of course, Absorb Elements is a, is a panic button for us because we can reduce damage from uh, an elemental source. Um, Catapult is a first-level spell that does, a lot, does more damage than, like, Firebolt or Acid Splash. So at this point, it's, it's better to do that. And, of course, I always take Detect Magic because that can be cast as a ritual, and then we can use that to do utility things like detecting magic, of course. So our primary attack damages are going to be a quarter staff. At this point, we're only a plus two to hit because that's based off of strength and our proficiency bonus. Um, but we're taking the quarter staff for something later on. And we can hold the quarter staff with one hand. And that does 1d6 plus zero. The other one is going to be the Firebolt, which is a plus 5 to hit at this level and does one D, just a straight 1d10 damage. Um, and I have at the bottom here our average damage versus an armor class of 15. This is with Firebolt. So right now the average damage per round is 3.58 uh, or rounded up 3.6. All right, so let's go to second level. What do we look like at second level? At second level, we're going to take a level of Warlock, and we are going to take the patron genie efridi um we're going to take frostbite and eldritch blast and pretty much at this point we're going to be working off of eldritch blast um and then we get some first level spells so we're going to take hex that's super important and we're going to take comprehend languages um and that again that's another i can cast that as a ritual and um that's got some utility with it. So, you know, we'll be able to do detect magic as a ritual and comprehend language as a ritual. That stuff always comes up. So it's really important to do those. Okay, so our primary attack damages now 
are going to be Eldritch Blast using Genie's Wrath. So Genie's Wrath allows us to do damage uh, with one attack per a round that is equal to our Charisma bonus. Okay, and then we're all we also have Firebolt, um, which we've got Hex on now. So if we can cast Hex on a enemy, every single attack that we do that hits does an extra d6 damage with the hex um and then you can give them disadvantage on one of their other saving throws but we're we're not really too too concerned with that because this character is based off of the chance to hit okay so we're doing a d10 plus uh for the eldritch blast plus a d6 for the hex plus two for genie's wrath or with the firebolt we're doing a d10 plus a d6 and the average damage you can see down here has now gone up from 3.6 with a uh, with an Eldritch Blast to a 6.5. And from a 3.6 to a 7 with Firebolt because of the Hex. Um, and we've got a plus 4. We've only got a plus 4 to hit at this point. And so the, the way that these statistics are run is it's our percent chance to hit times the average damage of the thing that we're using plus our chance to crit times the crit damage the average crit damage so so that's where i get these numbers from so with eldritch blast to hit an ac of 15 we've got a 50 percent chance to hit we just need an 11 or better so that's 50 percent and uh, we crit on a twenty, which we've got a nine, we've got a five percent chance to do that, and we do an average of twenty damage with that. Same thing for the firebolt. So that's basically where we go. And you're going to see that the, this this math formula gets very complicated as we add more things onto this character as we go through it. All right. So third level, artificer. We're going to take in a level of artificer, and and as you can see, our armor class is going to go from a seventeen now to an eighteen because we get a bunch of infusion. So at, at Artificer 2, we get infusion. So we're going to infuse our staff and our scale mail. The staff is going to now become our enhanced arcane focus. So that gives us a plus one to hit. And uh, the enhanced defense on our scale mail goes up by one. So we get an armor class of 18. If we get a magic, magic scale mail or magic shield down the line the ac armor class uh will go up at, at this point and and we're basically looking i mean it the enhanced defense turns the scale mail into magic scale mail plus one um we will get a uh an infusion to put on a shield that'll make the shield go up as well okay so we get some more spells so now for first level we're going to take absorb elements catapult detect magic and cure wounds so there's our there's some of our utility that's from artificer 2 and our primary attacks are still Eldritch Blast and Firebolt. So you'll see that the Eldritch Blast went up by one, and the Firebolt went up by one um, because we're a third because we got that Arcane Focus. So that allows that gives us a plus one to hit. So we're doing still doing a D10 for the Eldritch Blast, a D6 for the Hex, and two for the Genie's Wrath, and then for Firebolt we're still doing a D10 and a D6. And you can see the damage here went from 6.5 to 7 and went from 7 to 7.6 because we got an extra plus one to hit okay and so that makes our our chance to hit went from a 50 percent to a 55 percent with eldritch blast and from a 55 percent to a 60 percent with um a firebolt so firebolt still doing more damage at this point per round but eventually that's going to change all right so fourth level we're going to take a level of Warlock. So now we're a level 2 Artificer and a level 2 Warlock. Um, our AC is still the same. For Evocations, we're going to take Agonizing Blast that allows us to add our Charisma bonus to our every Eldritch Blast that we do. And we're going to take Devil Sight because we always love being able to uh, function in, in Magical Darkness. We got Hex, Comprehend Languages, and uh, Armor of Agathus. So... Uh, we get a little bit more utility out of out of our armor. All right, so our primary attacks are still Eldritch Blast and Firebolt. Those haven't changed too much other than we get the plus two for the Agonizing Blast now on the Hex. So now our 
uh, our damage for Eldritch Blast goes to 8.2 because of that. From 7 to 8.2. So we're now doing, instead of doing 11, we're doing 13. Um, and instead of doing uh, 20, we're doing 22 now. So that, that made it go up a little bit more. And Firebolt still doing more. So now you see we're going from a 7 in Eldritch Blast versus a 7.6 in Firebolt for 3rd level. At 4th level, now we've kind of flipped that over and we're doing more damage with our Eldritch Blast per round. All right, so 5th level. We are going to take a level of Artificer. So now we're 3rd level Artificer, 2nd level Warlock. And now we get our Artificer specialty, which is Artillerist. And we get uh, a Cannon. So I'm going to focus in on the Force Ballista. So there's three cannons that you can take. <clears throat> there's the uh, Fire Cannon, which spew basically is like a Burning Hands. It, it spews fire in a 15-foot cone. Um, and then there's the Force Ballista, which can target something within 120 feet and do 2d8 damage. And there's a Protector Cannon, which in a 10-foot radius will give out temporary hit points. Okay, so uh, we also get woodcarver's tools, but nobody cares about that. So um, so here's our our new setup now. Eldritch Blast. Now be and so another thing, we're fifth level, so our um, we get an extra blast and our firebolt goes up by a dice. Um, and our proficiency bonus change. So so we are got a better chance to hit. So now we got a plus six to hit. Instead of a plus five, we do 1d10 plus two plus 1d6 with hex, same. But we're taking the genie's wrath off of Eldritch Blast, and we're now going to put it on to the Force Ballista, um, because we can only put it on one thing around. And then we get two hexes, okay? And now as a bonus action, we can use our cannon, which is our Force Ballista, which has a plus seven to hit. Does 2d8 damage. Hex counts because anytime we hit something that's hexed, we get an extra d6 damage, and we're going to put the Genie's Wrath on there. Okay, now because uh, our bonus to hit went up, we've got a 60% chance to hit armor class 15. So now we're doing more damage. We took the Genie's Wrath off, um, but now we've got two uh, Eldritch Blasts. So now we've got that 0.6 times 11 plus a 0.6 times 11. Those are the two blasts. And we've got this 0.65 because we've got plus 7 to hit, uh, plus the 14.5 for the cannon. That's the average damage of that cannon. Plus the crit damage for Eldritch, for the two different Eldritch Blasts and the crit damage for the new cannon. Now we're doing 26 points of damage. I know you see this from 4th level of 8.25 to 5th level to 26 points of damage per round. So we've more than, we've more than doubled in one level, the amount of damage we can do per round. Um, and then with Firebolt, again, we're, we're out competing Firebolt, so we're not gonna track, I don't think after this we're gonna track Firebolt anymore because it's, it's not worth using. We got, the Eldritch Bla we got the extra Eldritch Blast and now we've got the Force Cannon to go along with that. Okay, so at sixth level, we're gonna take a level of Warlock. So this is our last level of Warlock that we're gonna take and we're gonna get packed to the chain and we're gonna get an Imp. Uh, the spell we're going to take is Misty Step. Um, and we're taking the Imp because we want to have the Imp use the help action on us. So the help action will let us get advantage on one attack per round. And right now, because the cannon does the most damage, we're going to use that advantage on the cannon. All right, so the bonus to hit for Eldritch Blast didn't really change, and the damage didn't really change. So it's still the same. Um, the thing that did change is the fact that we have advantage on one of those attacks now. Uh, so as you can see here, it went from a 0.65 with the cannon to 0.95. Because now we've got basically, we're rolling two, two dice. The only time we're really going to miss at this point is if we roll a 1, essentially, statistically. So, um, so we can't have 100%. But we can have almost 100%. All right, so, um, so we're at 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 
both times 11. And we have a 95% chance to hit with the cannon. So that's another 14.5 average. And then we've got our crit. So now we're up to 31.7 damage. So we went from 26 to 31.7. Um, and so our, our damage will now go up every level. All right. So next level, seventh level, we're taking a level lower artificer. We get an, this is a fourth level of artificer. Third level warlock, we get an ability score improvement. We're going to take one to intelligence and one to charisma. That increases both of those up to 18 and seven or 16, so that now we're going to get an extra bonus to hit with each one. So our bonus goes from a plus seven, plus six Eldritch Blast and plus seven cannon to a plus seven Eldritch Blast plus eight cannon. Um, our genie's wrath went up because our charisma went up. And our agonizing blast went up because our charisma went up. And so our average damage that we're going to have uh, versus an armor class of 15 now went from 31.7 to 35.1 because our bonus to hit went up and our average damages. So you can see our average damages went from 11 to 12 because we got an extra point from agonizing blast. And uh, we got an extra point on uh, the force ballista. All right, so... The next level, level eight, we're taking another level of Artificer. And now we get a new feature called Arcane Firearm. And that's going to be that staff that we're holding. And so that allows us to do an extra D8 damage on a spell. Um, and so now we're going to throw Scorching Ray into the mix. And we're going to add the 1D8 onto the Scorching Ray. So it's, it's 1D8 on one of those rays that hits. That's basically it. Um, we can't put it on the Force Ballista because the Force Ballista is not a spell, and it has to be an Artificer spell, so we can't put it on Eldritch Blast because Eldritch Blast is not an Artificer spell. All right, so as far as damage goes now, our damage with our Eldritch Blast didn't change at all. It's 35.1. But now we're putting Scorching Ray in plus our cannon instead of Eldritch Blast plus our cannon. So Scorching Ray pulls out um, three Scorching Rays that do 2d6 damage. And remember, every time that you hit, you do an extra d6 damage to a hex target. So we add another d6 onto those. And then one of them will do uh, 1d8 firearm damage. So I've got on here the first one is doing the 1d8 fire, uh, firearm damage, and we're going to have the imp help us with that one attack and then the rest of them will have instead of a 95 percent has a 70 percent chance they do an average of 10.5 points of damage um and then the uh the cannon is doing an average of 15.5 which it did last last level and then here's our crits at the end um let's see if we as you can see here crit 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 and cannon crit and so that's doing 46.3 damage when we cast that spell on average, which is great. I mean, that's that's more than fireball damage. Um, so that's – and that's an, that's on an average to hit. So that's going to be the average amount of damage you're going to do when you have an armor class of 15. And I'm using 15 primarily because that is uh, about an average armor class for most um, most creatures. All right, so – Next level, level nine, we're going to take Artificer again. So we're six levels of Artificer, three levels of Warlock. We get two new infusions. We're taking Repul Repulsion Shield um, and Spell Refueling Ring. Uh, we only can infuse three things, so we're going to put that, that new one on the shield. So we've got one on our armor, one on our shield, and one on the staff. Um, and now, uh, because we're ninth level, uh, our, our bonus goes up again to hit from proficiency. So now we're at plus eight and plus nine. So we were plus seven and plus eight. Now we're plus eight for Eldritch Blast, plus nine for Scorching Ray, and plus nine for the Cannon. And so our average damage is going to go up because the bonus to hit went up. So it's going to go from a 35.1 to a 36.3 for the Eldritch Blast. And it's going to go from a 46.3 to a 48 with Scorching Ray. Eventually, however, that blast is going to catch up because we're going to get another blast here pretty soon. All right, so at 10th level, we're taking another level of Artificer. 
Um, we've we've changed to an armor class of 19, by the way, because we put Repulsion Shield on, so that increases it by one. Uh, it also makes it a magic shield. We're going to get this Flash of Genius, which is it's a utility thing. It's not, not that great. Um, and then everything else basically stays the same. So we're going to get, it's 36.3 for the blast and 48 for the ray. And it's basically the same. Nothing is really changing at this level. Next level is when we get uh, some changes. So 11th level, we're taking a level of artificer and we're increasing, we're getting an ability score improvement and we're increasing our charisma to 18. So that increases our bonus to hit with Eldritch Blast, our Agonizing Blast damage, and our Genie's Wrath damage. In addition, because we're 11th level, we get a extra Eldritch Blast. Um, Firebolt, we don't care about anymore. And this is where it changes between Eldritch Blast and Scorching Ray. Um, so Eldritch Blast now is plus 9 to hit, which means to hit an armor class of 15, we've got a 75% chance to hit. Uh, we need an 8 or better. Uh, I'm sorry, we need a 6 or better. Um, does a D10 plus 4 for Agonizing Blast, plus a D6 if they're hexed. Um, and then our Cannon, plus 9 to hit, 2D8 damage, 1D6 if they're hexed, and then 4 for Genie's Wrath, because Genie's Wrath is based off our Charisma. And so now our Elder's Blast is doing 51 points of damage, that's Elder's Blast plus the Cannon every round. So on average, we're going to do 51 points of damage. And the Scorching Ray now is going to do 49 points of damage um, because we got an extra bonus to hit. So our, our damage is going from a, a 36.3 to a 51. This is a big jump because we got an extra Elder's Blast and our Charisma went up. So now we're doing three Elder's Blasts. All right, next level. 12th level, we have Artificer 9. We get some extra spells, and not a lot is changing, um, except our cannon now does 3d8 damage instead of 2d8. So you look here at 11th level, it does 2d8. At 12th level, Artificer 9, it does 3d8. So that changes our damage quite a bit. We still have a 75% chance to hit with our Eldritch Blast and our uh, cannon. Um, so that that hasn't changed. The charisma bonus ha damage hasn't changed. What has changed is the average damage that that cannon is doing. Uh, and so now we're going to kind of switch things up. So for the blast, the imp is still going to help us with the cannon. So we're going to do... 13, 13, and 13 average damage, which each Eldritch Blast, 21 average damage with the cannon now, because the cannon's doing 3d8, and then uh, on a crit, average is 22, 22, and 22 for each blast, and 38 on a crit with that, with that cannon now, um, and because we have advantage, we do a little bit more, so now we're going to be doing, instead of doing 51, we're going to be doing 56.2, and we just outpaced the ray. The scorching ray at this point so so however i'm gonna say this we have a lot of slots and we have uh first second and third level slots uh every slot at higher level that you cast scorching ray with so if i were to cast scorching ray with a third level slot i get an extra ray which is going to change that damage quite a bit and so it's going to add one of those extra rays on there, and the ray actually will do more damage as a third-level spell than the, than the Eldritch Blast. So we do have some options to use. All right, so this is going to be the last level we're going to talk about is 13th level. So at 13th level, we're going to take Artificer 10. We get some new infusions. Um, we get resistance armor. Uh, we can actually infuse four things. So uh, we could, you know, put Boots of Striding and Springing on for more movement, or we could put resistance armor on our armor. That's kind of ancillary at this point. What what else happens? Our proficiency bonus goes up. So now we've got a plus 10 to hit with everything. Um, and so because our bonus to hit went up, our damage goes up a little bit. So for the Eldritch Blast plus the Cannon, it goes from 56.2 to 58.3. And for the ray, it goes from 54.4 to 56.3. But again, remember, you can cast that ray with higher level spells. Um, and that adds an extra ray if you use higher level slots. 
And so that's really important because that does more damage. That, that may influence your decision on what you're going to do. So this is, this is where we're going to end our talk. Um, this is the, the character that I have chosen to bring forward is this up to 13th level, 10th uh, level artificer, 3rd level warlock, artificer, uh, artillerist, is doing 58.3 average damage per round. Um, with all of the little nicks and crannies and, and, and bobbles and things that you put on this character that uh, will allow them to do that. So uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave your question or comment.